Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this super cute pumpkin wreath using mostly Dollar Tree products. I used two pumpkin forms, a pumpkin sign, some florals, pumpkin clips, the three pack, a glue gun and glue sticks, some wire cutters, scissors, pipe cleaner, floral wire, and fabric. I actually picked this fabric up from Walmart. It was one yard for $2.20, so that's what we're going to be using for today's project. First thing we're going to do is cover one of our pumpkin forms using this fabric and to do that we're going to be using our hot glue gun. And be really careful guys if you if your hot glue gun gets really hot make sure that you wear some kind of um, finger protectors. Dollar Tree actually sells those and they sell them in their craft section and they work really well. I'm not needing them for this project because my uh, my good glue gun actually isn't working so I'm using this smaller one which doesn't get all that hot so I don't really need to do that here but just um, a word of caution guys. Now we're going to keep going around and doing section by section we're just going to glue that fabric on to our form. And we're not going to worry about covering the stem today because as you'll see uh, later on in the video, it's not necessary because that's not going to be showing at all. It's going to be covered up by other decorations. So uh, don't worry about covering the stem here. I did fold my fabric under a little bit just to kind of cover up that frayed, um, that frayed edge from cutting it and uh, just to keep it from fraying more. And now I'm just kind of laying things, laying out my fabric just so that I can quickly uh, cover it once I have my hot glue laid down. I don't want that glue to dry too quickly. Um, so I do this in smaller sections, as you'll see. It really doesn't matter, you know, where you start on your pumpkin. I just started at the bottom section and then I did the top and now I'm working my way around the sides of the pumpkin form. I always do that little twist after I finish uh, putting some glue down trying to avoid that little tail that you can get with a hot glue gun. And I'm trying to pull the edges um, somewhat taut because I don't want the excess fabric on the part where the pumpkin form is. I just want it to be nice and taut. So we're just going to go ahead and continue to glue small sections as we work our way around the form of the pumpkin. Just make sure everything is uh, stuck down and that nothing's going to come loose on you later. This was a lot of fabric to work with, you guys. One yard was, it proved to be too much. However, while I was putting this fabric on the pumpkin form, I realized just how thin this fabric is. And so I decided to keep all of that excess fabric and just wrap it around the pumpkin so that um, it wasn't quite so transparent while it was hanging. And that worked out just fine. It did, of course, create a few wrinkles um, on the sides of the pumpkin, but I'm okay with that. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and finish up this last side. Make sure everything is stuck down nicely. Then I'm going to cut this little edge off here. 
and then I'm going to start gluing down the excess fabric to the back side of the pumpkin. It actually worked out quite well. I thought it made the back of the pumpkin look quite nice, actually. And it gave it a more opaque appearance as well when it's hanging. So as you can see, I'm just working my way around the pumpkin again and gluing down any any pieces so that nothing um, sticks up or comes off. I don't want anything coming apart on this pumpkin. Whether you're going to be gifting these crafts or selling them or what have you, you don't want your projects to fall apart for the next person who enjoys them. So I'm going to glue down that last piece of fabric, then I'm going to flip our pumpkin over and add that second pumpkin frame or form, whatever you like to call it, on top. I'm going to kind of push them together as tightly as I can. And then I'm going to take some of this floral wire, I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I'm going to poke it through, right through the fabric, making sure I get the edges of both forms in there. And I'm going to bend it together. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to just twist that nice and tight. So I'm going to do that on both the top and the bottom parts of the pumpkin frame. And then I'm going to twist that piece of wire down a little bit using my wire cutters just so that we don't have any sharp edges poking through. All right guys, this is where the fun begins for me. Now I'm going to decorate the pumpkin. I'm going to use the top portion of this Dollar Tree pumpkin sign as both a decorative feature as well as the hanger for our pumpkin wreath. I'm gonna set aside these other two sign parts of the sign for later. I had to get quite creative here, so what I did is used pipe cleaner to connect the top part of both pumpkin form stems, creating a kind of a barrier. And then I'm wrapping that pipe cleaner around the top portion of both stems. Then I'm threading another pipe cleaner through the ribbon as well as through the stem wires. Now I'm bringing the two ends of that same pipe cleaner back to the center where I'm going to thread them through that little opening I created, ensuring they'll be uh, well connected so everything is nice and secure. And this is what it looks like so far. I intentionally left space here because I want to be able to decorate the top part of the pumpkin and I still want you to be able to see the word pumpkins on the sign when our wreath is hanging. I've done so many projects lately and my floral stash is dwindling so I decided to check my remnants bin for some florals to use. I always save leftover pieces and parts from previous projects to use in future projects. 
waste not, want not, right guys? And so for this project, I found these florals right here and that's what I'll be using, along with a few others I've chosen for this project. So I'm going to begin by placing some of the florals and I'm gonna use the uh, pumpkin wreath form as a base kind of to hold them in place until I know exactly where I want everything and then I'll come back in. I might move things around a little bit, but I'll also hot glue everything down so that nothing comes apart. I always end up changing things around a little bit, you guys. I'll place things where I think I want them, then I'll look the project over from a few different angles and I'll figure out if I want to move anything or if things are good the way they are. Once I have everything where I want them, that's when I will secure everything with either wire or in this case, hot glue. Dollar Tree just has the most amazing picks, you guys. They, I can find just about anything I want at Dollar Tree for of course a dollar as opposed to going to Hobby Lobby. I do I do go to Hobby Lobby and Michaels when they have their clearance sales or even 50% off and I'll I'll try to find things that I may not be able to get at Dollar Tree or that I just know I'm going to use in a project and I and I need them. These glittery leaves from Dollar Tree are the cutest. I've used them in so many projects and I love them. I pick them up every year, at least two packs. Try to, or I, or I try to get one pack in each color if I can. All right, so now I'm gonna hot glue everything down because I have everything the way I want it. I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and secure so nothing's going to come off of our wreath, even if it gets kind of tossed around a little bit. We don't want anything coming off. Now I'm going to go back to the rest of that sign that we used for our hanger and I'm going to disassemble it even further because I want to use the cider portion. The Hay Rides one, we'll save that for another project because that's really cute too, but I want to use the cider one in this project. and. I'm going to put it right there in the middle section underneath the florals and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun. I'm going to glue it down right on to the wires of our pumpkin wreath frame. I'm going to hold that down firmly just until I know it is uh, really stuck on there and it's not going anywhere. Then 
I flipped the project over and I reinforced that ribbon and those staples on the back side of the top portion of that Dollar Tree sign. I don't want that coming apart when somebody's trying to hang this for display. I want this to be a really sturdy piece, you guys. I don't want it falling apart. And as you guys know, sometimes when we store our seasonal items, we just toss them in a corner, at least I do sometimes. <laughs> and, um, and I want this to be able to withstand a little bit of that. I don't want it to be so fragile. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add in uh, two of those pumpkins from that three pack of pumpkin clips from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use hot glue for that. I just pulled them right off of the little clips that they come on because I didn't need the clips. I'm just going to use the hot glue. And as you guys might notice, I tried adding some uh, greenery onto the pumpkin wreath, but I really didn't like it all that much when all was said and done. So I did remove that. Uh, from the pr final project. What do you guys think? Do you like it with the greenery or do you prefer it without? Let me know down in the comments section. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This completes my pumpkin wreath tutorial. I'm so grateful for you guys carving a little time out of your busy day to spend some time with me. If you like this video, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for future um, updates on videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video. It really helps out my channel, and I would sure appreciate it. A lot more craft videos coming up, you guys. Can't wait to share all of uh, my fun craft ideas with you. I hope you are safe. I hope you are staying healthy. I love you guys. I missed you so much, and I appreciate you watching. Take care, guys. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you soon.